Yo, what's going on, Sexy Seven Lot Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. I am playing a wheelie or a wheelish, depending on, you know, how much of a dork you are, I guess. Um, Somebody donated $120 to uh, see in a wheelix game, and I thought, you know what? I'm actually down. I'm actually down because I haven't uploaded a wheelix game in probably a really long time <laughs> i don't ever play this god not because i think she's bad i mean well she's bad in duel she's good in conquest but um not because i think she's like a bad god or i don't have fun playing her but just because i i know that she's not that good in duel like it just in general which makes it very hard for me to want to play her in duel you know what i mean like, I don't ever have that feeling where I'm like, okay, it's, it's time to slap. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. You guys have that feeling too. Don't lie to me and say you don't. Um, He's going to double buff because he's Lancelot and he does buffs very quickly. So I'm going to do my blue and then invade his blue. Okay, he didn't go for his blue. He just did his speed buff. A little bit weird. Oh, I am actually dumping on you. All right. He definitely out cleared me, but uh, I pretty much killed him. So <laughs> I'll take it. Risk was taken. Hit him with the pause. What's he doing? Beat stick first item? It could I mean, honestly, it could just be a Jotun's. Cooldown is really good on Lancelot, but... I feel like not going Transcendence really lowers your power spike a lot. I feel like that's a bad call. Like, if you're going to go Lancelot, you want all the power spikes you can get. Like, you want power spike after power spike after power spike, including, but not limited to, Transcendence, Breastplate, uh, you know, Heart Seekers, a massive power spike. All these, there's so many items that give you massive power spikes, but I just don't understand why you wouldn't go them pretty much immediately I kind of want to zone him I kind of want to pull out my solo lane shit oh actually I just killed you huh? nice 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 big blink alright and now I can do his blue buff I don't know actually I have half health and he's like alive and shit already are you gonna come over here? What it how cool would it be if you didn't though? Oh cool, he's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you thought it'd be super cool if you didn't too. Are you level five off that? Because if you are, I can't talk to you anymore. My mom said so. Nice dope. Oh he is. Oh I knocked him up. Oh. Primini. Don't hit me. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's running in circles. Because he wants to one my wave. Big knock up. Um, damn, dude. I'm kind of dumpy in him, huh? I don't really know why, if I'm honest. I don't feel like I should be stronger than him early. Like, Awelix is not known for her early game strength. You know what I mean? And yet, here I am, doing very, very well. You know what? It's probably because a combination of him not going to his blue buff, like him get, picking up speed buff, and the fact that um, he didn't start Transcendence. He has no mana sustain at all. That's probably what's doing it for me, if I had to guess. I don't even think Tier 2 Mace gives you... Oh my god, he went Crusher first item? I feel like Crusher for a item is only what you do if you're actually stomping already. Like, if you got first blood and you're, like, trying to pressure, invading my buffs, fighting me at any chance you get. Like, that's the kind of shit you do when you get Crusher. But, I don't know, man. He just, like, never has any mana. I feel like that can't be good. The way this game is playing out so far is extremely in my favor. Don't forget a timer. Hello. 
You're gonna have to ult this, I think. If you don't ult it, I will kill you. There we go. And then, if you don't mind, I'm gonna blink knock up. Okay, I didn't get the knock up, but I did get the blink. Is your speed up? Massive speed buff? Yo, this is a fiver. This is a fiver. I am so dominant this game. I'm so dominant this game. Holy. Not today, demon. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Crap. Does he have defense? Is this going to hit? Oh, yeah. I'm very not scared of him. Can you turn the other way, please? Thank you. Nice. Next time, ask before you copy my recipe. Yeah, don't steal. Don't steal my recipe, please. Yo, all of the things. I've gotten all of his buffs. I've gotten kills. I've gotten XP camps. And yet, somehow, he still managed to get his XP camp through all of this. I'm not even mad. I'm just, I'm honestly surprised. Like, I don't remember him ever going over there. That's impressive. Uh, you probably cannot kill me. I'm pretty safe, I think. Don't throw your horse at me, okay? By the way, I don't actually want red buff. I downed it, but like, eh. Eh, you know, who cares? You go beat stick. The reason I'm going beat stick is because if Lancelot goes Soul Eater or really any type of life steal, it goes extra far because of the fact that he has the shield on his horse. And uh, I mean, I, I know it doesn't really make a lot of sense, I guess, when I say it like that. But any character that has a heal, <clears throat> if they do heal or like. Fuck, how do I say this? Any character that has a heal, a shield, or is just in general tanky like a guardian, health goes further on them, right? Like, uh, the base stat of HP goes further on them because they can heal it and then reuse it, right? So, Lancelot, being one of those people with a horse, pretty much just means that he's going to use his HP very, very well. If he does get healing. And I, I mean, he has a chalice, so you know he wants to heal a little bit, right? So, I kind of just... I just kind of want to nip it in the bud immediately. Also, I have 600 HP, and he's like walking at me right now. I will die for your blue buff. <clears throat> it's the principal at the moment. Yo, Wheelix is like kind of good, though. Hello. Don't ult me. Nice. Nice. Alright, that's a tower down. I'm 5-0 and oh in 7 minutes. Oh my god. There's a lot of people that... Well, I, there's a lot of people on both sides here that I'm, I'm about to say. There's a lot of people that don't like watching videos like this. Where I stomp the enemy. But there's also a lot of people that like it because it shows not only, I guess, a ceiling of skill that you can get to. Each person has a different ceiling, but I mean, I, I pretty much play at mine consistently. I mean, I, I can I can boost it a little bit higher if I'm like hyper focused, but I don't do that shit on stream. You know, like I like I don't hyper focus on stream or in recording, so I'm just talking bullshit mainly. But um. They like seeing the skill ceiling compared to somebody who hasn't reached that ceiling yet. Because it's it's an interesting comparison if you think about it. It's it's very It's like it's like raw smite. It's just cool that one person can I mean like, you know, I don't want to be mean to this Lancelot, but one person can be better than the other and yet 2 months later the other person is better. 
because their skill ceiling is higher. So it's really cool. I don't know. In case anyone's wondering why I upload videos like this, because I know, like I said, a lot of people don't like them. I find it really interesting. Time to ride. All right, cool down, man. My guy just pressed a million buttons. Do I have enough HP to do Bull Demon when I have 300 HP? <laughs> My guess is absolutely not. And yet, here I am. Okay, never mind. I do a lot of damage. Like a, like a whole lot of damage. I think I do want to go... My cool on that. It's only 20% actually. I do want to go Jones. Well, 30% I guess because I have blue buff. What is this? Deal ex additional damage on my next strike. Is that my passive? I do an extra 30% power. I get a 30% power increase if I strike first. Holy guacamole. Okay, alt it away. I kind of expected him to alt away. I was hoping my three would hit him and it would knock up. But we can't have everything we hope for, right? I'm just going to ult this. My ult gives me so much power and attack speed. It's kind of like Vamana's. Vamana's ult. Vamana's ult doesn't give you attack speed. It gives you a lot of power. But this one gives me 40 power. I mean, when it's maxed out. It gives me 70% attack speed and 60 power. That's kind of nuts. Oh, hello. I feel like blinking past me wasn't necessary. I didn't miss a single auto attack or ability. Oh, Lord, she's coming. Thank you, Red Buff. I will go get my Jotun's Cunning now. Speed up the baking process. I don't really like this alt. Or this, uh, this skin. I like the loaf of bread cat. I was going to call it a bread loaf. I guess bread loaf and loaf of bread are the same thing, but I like the loaf of bread cat. I don't like how she looks. Not that it matters. I mean, just cosmetic. It really doesn't change anything, but. Did you guys know that there are some skins? Like, actually, I'm not making this up. There are skins that change gameplay that are banned from competitive. I missed. Don't you dare throw that horsey at me. Rude. Oh, holy. Ow. My one did 250 damage. Hmm. All right. Dude, I do so much damage. All right, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this Awelix video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.